Hi guys, it's Reza from CatSpace and this week's video blog is about SolidWorks Simulation Express. So what I have on my screen is a cover for a pump which all actually flows in and uh, there is a pressure to be applied and um, poses on the walls of this pump cover. So I'll just activate Simulation Express, which is uh, located under Evaluate Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. So I'll just start it off with a quick intro about this interface that you've got for Simulation Express. So it just uh, includes all the steps of doing a normal FEA analysis, including fixtures, loads, materials, then you run the analysis and then you go over the results and it's got this optimization option as well. So it's pretty um, good and uh, interactive if you just hover your mouse on these supports and loads and everything. It gives you some quick examples of what does these fixtures and everything looks like. So if I add a fixture on this pump, I, I get to choose these entities of my pumps which could represent the holes as well as the upper walls of them. Um, as if they are like being um, buried underground or something similar to that one that mimics the real life situation. The next step is going to be loads. As you can see, the green tick shows uh, that this uh, the last uh, step is completed. Uh, so now I'm in actually SolidWorks. I can use any tools that I um, could use before because this is a totally integrated add-in. So next step is about material with all the material library that I've got over here. I can choose the material that I'm after, which is 2014 alloy of aluminum here. Then the next step involves with running the simulation. After running this simulation, I instantly get the behavior of my pump cover over here, which tells me what are these pressures going to, how they are actually affecting the model. So I can zoom in, take a closer look of how everything is moving. If the deformation is as I expected, I can continue to review the results. The results I can get is the stress distribution across the uh, model. This displacement shows me exactly how are the um, maximum displacement and um, where they are actually happening. I can play the animation over here and well, as well. See, these are the two tips that actually are having the maximum amount of displacement. If I'm done viewing the results, before that I need to talk about factor of safety. It, this sentence is actually giving me the minimum factor of safety, which in this case means that our part unfortunately failed and, dress, uh, and the stress is beyond the failure. And this is the area which is actually marked with red color that shows dress stress is uh, higher than the yield stress. So, if I'm done viewing the results, I can generate any report that I'm after by generate report and just add some description and um, just adding some sentences for conclusion and everything. I can definitely generate a pre made template report in Word document. It captures the necessary images and pictures of the model along with the loads, boundary conditions, material model, and everything. And includes it all in one document as you can see over here so this material contains all that information that I mentioned to you so going to the next step SolidWorks Simulation Express giving me the opt option to optimize my model since I know that my model actually failed and its factor of safety is below one I can play with one of these parameters that I've got I chose the thickness of the shell here so these are all go back to solid box again and I say I've got a two millimeter thickness so I want to optimize it between these two values eight is the initial value that I chose and ten is actually the maximum value that I want this to be so I can say factor of safety is greater than one and while I keep this I just run this with optimization so it just goes into the loops of creating uh, the optimal results for my um, simulation express so after it's done it reports the value of the optimal um, thickness so it just gives me this value as the optimal value so as you can see with 0.44 millimeter of thickness 
I can see that my factor of safety is uh, above one. So I've got two options here to go for optimal value or the initial value. If I decide to do so, it just applies that one. The good thing about this is since everything is integrated in here, even for the drawing, it now updates it to 8.44, which is the optimal value for my palm. And this all, the, all of these actually help the user um, to save some time as like, you know, uh, when he wants to validate his design using simulation packages.